Hey everybody, it is time finally for the retail edition of Elite Dangerous and here is my Let's Play kickoff. We're in episode one. I have started off my new commander in his Cobra Mark III with a federal bounty on his head. We'll just say things happened back in the Federation. Um, they want to charge him 5,000 bucks for it. Eh, we'll see how that actually goes. But here I am, I'm on a dangerous, uh, in some dangerous border place called the Kite system uh, at Bellamy Dock. And I have some notes um, that I've taken from previous Let's Plays that gives me some information on where things are like black markets. So uh, for this video series, I'm going to assume that you guys generally know how to play Elite Dangerous, or at least that you can catch up quickly. I'll be probably you know, flying through menus and doing stuff that seem old hat to me because I've been doing this in all of the previous um, seasons. And uh, I'm just going to be kind of banging through starting up a brand new career and pl actually playing it out as opposed to, you know, stopping and starting when a new uh, when a new edition comes out, whatever. So this is a full Let's Play experience. Um, I'll cut out the boring parts, or at least I'll not film the boring parts. And... Uh, kind of give you career highlights in this game so I'm starting off here I'm at Bellamy Dock and the first thing I'm gonna do is go into Starport services to see if I can't find myself some work um, ooh really progenitor cells are selling uh, pretty good in the uh, in Kate there's the uh, traffic report some slave rebellion is going on in some other system called Sarbago, Sorbago. Um, these are local events that are actually going to make an impact on how the game actually plays out for you. Um, so yeah, let's go over to the bulletin board and see what there is. Okay, available missions. Seeking special gifts in order to get the hottest hookups. Can you be the hero, uh, hero Bellamy Doc needs? Guns for hire needed in Kate. Looks like I got myself a decent couple of missions to start off with here. Um, <clears throat> they want me to fly over to LHS 1923. Okay, Sector Security has received word that rebel agitators operating in LHS 1923 have been leaving coded messages to each other at, at, drop, at dro dead drop sites throughout the systems. As yet, we have been unable to ascertain any of the dead drop ex ex exact locations your mission should you choose to accept it will be to travel to LHS 1923 and retrieve one examples ah, little, little grammar there um, one example of the rebel transmissions if you succeed we'll be one step closer to forging a lasting peace throughout this sector this is an important job commander don't mess it up yeah we're gonna go look for that that sounds like fun um, guns for hire needed in Kite Calling all law-abiding citizens, uh, well, I'm law-abiding here anyway, a uh, reward of that much money. For anyone brave enough to help clear Kate of the pirating scum who haunt the sector's spaceways, pay payment is available upon confirmation of killing two members of the pirate gang. Um, so they want me to fight uh, two of these pirate guys. I am not sure. I'm in Kite. It's an anarchy system. I'm not even sure which faction they'd be considering uh, uh, the pirate faction. So... Hmm. So this is the Kite mob, um, and they're giving me missions, which probably doesn't mean they would, they probably don't want me to kill Kite mob members. So I'm not going to worry about that. Before I leave, though, I do have one really important thing I need to do, uh, which I can't do here. Never mind. I guess I'm going out. Um, so yeah, I picked up some a couple missions. I'm going to get myself ready with my pre-flight checklist for the na new career. If you're watching me do this for the first time, if you're new to the game, definitely check out the tutorials because I'll be flying through lots of stuff. Uh, they're both available on on um, the Elite Dangerous website from Frontier and from your game menu. And actually, I have a set of tutorials that I've done, and I will talk through some of the things that I'm doing as I do them to sort of explain what the heck is going on. But right now, this is basic flight operations. I picked up a couple missions from the bulletin board, and I'm going to head out and see if I can't work on them. All power to the engines, please. As we come up here from Bellamy Dock, which doesn't have much of anything in it to do, off we go. Off the pad, landing gear up. 
and we are on our way on our maiden voyage. What should I call my ship? I think I'll call it the Marco Polo. Not that it matters. Um, yeah, we're flying. Let's see here. Oh, if you're very new to the series and you're looking at this game going, oh, yeah, that space looks pretty good. That's a nice little background there. Um, I want to point out that every single dot, like literally 99.99% .99 of all these points of light that you see are locations in the in-game galaxy that you can go visit. So it's not just a pretty background. You can go there and check it out. Let's take a look at my mission transactions. Hunt pirates in this system. That requires me to jump into Super Cruise. I'm gonna go check out some unidentified signal sources and nav beacons and stuff like that and see if I can't find who I'm supposed to kill. Okay, we're in Super Cruise and I'm going to set course for the main star, which is a ways away. Because there'll be a nav beacon there. And I can check that nav beacon for my quarry for these wanted people in this system. Um, it's going to take a little bit for me to fly over there, so I'm actually going to probably going to I'm going to pause here, and I'll catch you guys on the other side of Super Cruise. If I see anything interesting, like an unidentified signal source or something like that, I will make sure to pick up the recording again and talk you guys through it when you get there. So until then, hang tight. Okay, we're getting close enough where I can start slowing down and target the nav beacon. So, there it is. We are approaching the star quite fast. Hello. Uh, some schmuck is trying to pull me over. And we're going to let him. Deploy weaponry. Target him. Let's get my fire group set up really quick. Okay. Prepare for death, fool. <clears throat> okay, and you're not the only one who can fight, guy. <clears throat> I know for a fact that I'm pretty more, pretty, I should be able to be more maneuverable in this guy a little bit. Kind of for my shield a bit, though. There we go. Let's see if I can't stay on the six. the first dogfight of the series, and this one's not going to yield me any bounties, but it might be a pirate kill. I'm not sure what this guy's... Dang, this, this guy might take me apart. I haven't even gotten through his shield yet. Hmm. <clears throat> now we're pounding on him. You can just keep on firing those pulse lasers. That's beginning to sting. These pythons are rough. It's a pretty rough, rough fight for me, and uh, he's not wanted, so I'm not going to get a bounty or anything. Hopefully, it'll contribute to my um, <clears throat> my mission that I'm on right now. Finally, now let's hit him. So now that the shields are down, I'm going to hit him with everything I've got. Because the machine guns tear through hull when shields are down. Oh no, no you don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get a shot on me if I can avoid it. Can roll this way. Just keep shooting. He boosted. If I can get a turn on him, I should be able to get it on a six. There we go. All guns, fire. Tat, 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 tat. The old cannons are reloading, but the pulse lasers can keep on pounding on him. Whew, that was close. <laughs> A nice little dogfight we've gotten ourselves into. Uh, 
Now we're, now we're in a circle fight. Okay. Time to change the equation. Back it off. Okay, he's done a 26% hull. That was a good exchange. All guns fire. Trying to roll to his side because ships can't yaw as fast as they can turn. Or bank, I should say. They can't yaw as fast as they can pitch. He's dropping cargo. That could be useful, actually. I will happily take his shit if he's willing to leave it for me. Come on, just a little bit more. God, he's pounding the crap out of this. Consign your remains to the void. Not. Sorry, sir. It is not my turn. Time today to die. To... Oh, can't even speak. Sorry, sir. It's not my time to die today. Um, that was not counted as one of the pirate kills. That was rough. Okay, next time I see a python, I'm gonna run. Slaves? Ooh. Yeah, I can sell them on the black market. Landing gear deployed. Landing gear. Landing How about a cargo scoop? Cargo scoop deployed. So this guy was running slaves, eh? Well, I know there's a black market here. These are considered stolen goods. I will go ahead and scoop them up. Get my shields fully restored back to uh, their power here. So I've got my cargo scoop deployed. I'm using this little guide thing on the left hand side here to the left of my scanner to align myself and pick them up. And yep, I've got a bunch of stolen slaves. I don't know how much these things sell for. Sort of morally opposed to moving these guys, but I gotta make some money to deal with the repairs. I mean, right now they're they're people crammed into canisters. <laughs> you kind of think about it; that's pretty morbid. A whole bunch of people crammed into canisters. Okay. Let's get our punch our crap out of here. Oh yeah. Gotta bring up the uh, fuel scoop, uh, the cargo scoop. I still have to make it to this nav beacon. It's pretty close. And maybe I'll be lucky and find an unidentified... Un un uh, I can't speak tonight. I get a sip of my soda. Maybe I'll be lucky and find an unidentified signal source here pretty soon. Filled with money. Hey, hey, what's this over here? I see an unidentified signal source. So I'm going to fly in there first. See if I can't find anything that'll be helpful. I'm really behind the eight ball. 60% damaged. Um, that python fight really took a lot out of me. Those pythons are rough. But well, for a stock, uh, for a stock um, Cobra Mark III. Okay, let's get in here and find out. and see what we find. We're finding free stuff. Rare artwork. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. By rights of space salvage, I claim this stuff is mine. Some ship or other carrying a bunch of rare artwork. Spontaneously combusted in space, as far as I can tell. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop them up.
All right, so we've picked up, or we're picking up the last of four rare artworks that we found in here. And we'll retract our cargo scoop. Cargo scoop, And uh, I'm gonna sell a course for Al Haytham. It's a Coriolis starport. There's gonna be more services available there for me. Frameshift drive charging. And get the frameshift drive charging. Engage. La la la. All right, we're 2,800 light seconds away from Al Heathen Dock, so I'm back into Super Cruise. I will catch you guys again in a bit if I see anything interesting. Otherwise, I'll catch you when we're on our, on our final approach to Al Heathen Dock. So hang tight. All right, we're coming up on our final approach here on Al Heathen Dock. <laughs> I have to go check it out. I can't not check it out. I'm in anarchy space, so I don't even wait. None of these guys are going to show up as wanted. So what I need to do is take a look at uh, that's one of the Kitty mob. Scan detected. Um, gosh, I wish I knew what faction transactions. Hunt pirates. Uh oh, someone's scanning me. Who's gonna open fire? Someone scanned me and they want what I have. And. Who's shooting at me? Whoever it is is a terrible shot. There he is! Both of these guys. Okay, fine. Die. You're both sidewinders. I can take you both. I need more power into. most of my power into engines, though, so I can maneuver. This other guy's tearing me up pretty good. So I've got to finish this guy really fast. Come on, get some reverse thrust going. Forward thrust. Yes, I know. Let's finish this guy really quick. He's done. Next. <clears throat> this. Sean Wood guy has bitten off more than he can chew, I can guarantee it. Let's keep those spun up. <laughs> I don't want my guns cooling down. Yeah, reverse. Hey, sweet. That was fortuitous. <clears throat> Objective completed. We managed to get uh, rid of a couple of pirates. So how about that? Let's get our hard points put away and go back and get paid. That does, of course, mean we need to fly to Bellamy Dock. Two, one, engage. Um, Al Haytham is right next door, so I'm going to go there first. And I'll worry about collecting payment on the other thing later. I need to drop off these, all the stuff that I have. It's drawing some attention. Slaves and rare artwork. So let's get ourselves punched up in here. Awfully fast. Zoom. <clears throat> All right, we've popped out of Super Cruise and we are heading towards Bellamy Dock or Isle Haytham Dock. Um, yeah. Kind of glad those guys attacked me. It made my job really easy as far as uh, determining who was going to be after me, after me as, as in the form of piracy. Um, I kind of wish the mission detail told you which faction specifically you're hunting. That would make it a little bit easier. So, uh, French development, if you happen to catch wind of this video, let it be known that my feedback is this: 
put a little bit more details in your mission briefings so we know, you know, have a better sense of what we're doing, like which factions we should actually be looking for. Okay, I'm just using my lateral and vertical thrusters to get myself lined up with this entrance. We'll just cruise on in. I don't have to worry about being scanned for crimes or illicit cargo. There's hardly anyone around. And my compass is pointing towards Docking Bay 29, which is back there. So, let's get ourselves situated for a landing. Landing gear deployed. Coming down. Docking successful. Nice Engines landing. Disengaged. <laughs> nice enough. <clears throat> All right, Al Haytham, let's see what you got. Uh, first things first, the bulletin board. I don't think I have a mission to turn in here, actually. Nope. Um, but, context. I know for a fact there's a black market here. So we'll go here and uh, sell our stuff. Some rare artwork. No it is. Uh, that's worth nearly 10,000 credits. And I just found that floating in space. And slate. Oh my god. <laughs> well, they're free. I guess. I hope. Um, what am I going to do with canisters of slaves? Leave, leave them in my thing? I need to see... Repairs. Okay, good. It was only 3,000 bucks or so worth of repairs, thankfully. Um, you know what that means? That means I can actually go in here and uh, back to contact and pay off my federal bounty. So there we have it. That's going to make my life a whole lot easier. I can actually fly into the Federation and do stuff now um, without having to worry about that. Uh, the only other thing I need to do, which I'll do later, is go drop off that, um, drop off the other, the pirate mission at the other starport. So I'm going to actually do that off camera. They're going to pay me some 3,900 credits or so. And uh, we're on our way. So that wraps up episode one of Let's Play Elite Dangerous. We're no longer in beta. The game is out. You can go get it. Um, if you like this kind of game with space, mercenary, trader, combat kind of things, um, uh, so far Elite Dangerous is the uh, quintessential one. There are some issues with the game here and there um, that they're still working on. You know, they're still actually doing patches and stuff post-release, and there'll be expansions and things coming out as well in the future. The Mac version is going to be available uh, here in a few months. So, yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing if you guys get out in space. Leave your comments here in the YouTube video. Subscribe, like, um, all that stuff. And until next time, keep flying and stay shiny. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.